My Maslow 4 CNC is arriving soon. This is how I built a frame for it. But first, you might be asking, what is a Maslow? Well, it's an open source CNC machine that accommodates 4 foot by 8 foot sheet goods. It requires either a horizontal or close to vertical frame. You can find out more at MaslowCNC.com. Okay, so the issue was that I had space in mind in my basement where I wanted to kind of wedge the Maslow in, but there is a 4 inch drain pipe midway up the wall. I also wanted it to hang vertically from the wall to save space when not in use. Let's talk about the materials I used. I used 3 8 inch Tapcon concrete anchors, 6 inches in length, lag screws and large fender washers, 3 and a half inch gate hinges, Simpson Strong Tie FB24Z fence brackets, 2 and a half inch and 1 and a quarter inch construction screws, both with star drive. Star drive is so much better than Phillips head. And lastly, a scrap of 4x4. For lumber, I used five 2x4s, 8 feet long, two 2x4s, 10 feet long, and a 4x4, 10 feet long. First, of course, I had to empty out the space, clearing out all the existing sheet goods, my miter saw, and my clamps. And now for the build. The first thing I wanted to do was attach the 4x4 header to the wall and let all the other measurements flow from that. So I drilled out holes to accommodate the 6 inch Tapcon anchors and countersunk to let the Tapcon heads sit below the surface. From there it was simply a matter of attaching the frame to the header by way of the 3.5 inch gate hinges. There's one more part that I didn't mention earlier. Simpson recommends against using regular construction screws or drywall screws with connectors. And I figured it wasn't worth it to go against the recommendations, so I purchased a box of their recommended fasteners which sit flat against the connector. The Maslow site also goes through fashioning your own connectors for the frame, but I just figured it would be easier to buy them. I've had good experience with Simpson connectors in the past, and no, they're not a sponsor. After a bit of trial and error, including trying to hold the header up to the wall using 2x4s, I realized I could use a nearby storage cart to hold the header up at more or less the right height. I put a couple of shims underneath and measured it like crazy until I was sure it was level and in the exact spot I wanted, wedged in between a higher drain pipe on the wall and an HVAC duct. And I also really liked that I could just wheel the cart out of the way with the header assembly on top of it, rather than having to lift the header off and move it somewhere else on its own. I had been dreading drilling into the concrete wall because it felt like I always screwed up concrete drilling, but I learned on the Everyday Home Repairs YouTube channel that you should drill an extra half inch deep into concrete and vacuum out the hole. This made all the difference and the concrete drilling went amazingly well. I'm wearing a dust protection mask when doing the concrete work because, I don't know, it's probably not great to be breathing that stuff in, but I confess I have no idea whether it's actually necessary. Better to be on the safe side, I guess. With the header in place, it was time to measure the length needed for the vertical members of the frame, which I'll just call studs. While measuring, I discovered that not only is my basement floor not flat, but the 10 foot 2x4s were warped. Womp womp. I learned the hard way not to try to put something like this together up on the wall. The studs fell and could have broken something or hurt someone. Instead, much better to assemble the frame on the floor and then lift it up into place in one piece as recommended on the Maslow site. I used a couple ratchet straps to force the slightly warped horizontal pieces into square before screwing them together. The Maslow is anchored to each corner of the frame by a bolt, but instead of the suggested method of a bolt running through two plywood connectors, I just cut a scrap 4x4 into blocks and cut a rabbit to accommodate the Simpson connectors. I then drilled a pilot hole in each one to accommodate a lag screw. I 
I cut some horizontal stays out of a 2x4 scrap. These will prop the bottom of the frame off the wall at least the required minimum of 15 degrees when the CNC is in use. When installing the stays, I used a couple of spacers to make sure that the stays would not run into the corner anchor blocks when swiveled to a horizontal orientation. The easiest part by far was attaching the 4x8 plywood spoil board, but first I wanted to make completely sure it was centered exactly within the frame. I countersunk all the screws here as much as I could to try to avoid the CNC cutting bit someday hitting them. I hope I countersunk them enough to avoid that. The frame wasn't super heavy. I wrangled it into place and attached it to the 4x4 header. I gave it a test, and aside from all the screw-ups I didn't include in the video, of course, everything went super smoothly. As a wise man once said with a cigar in his mouth, I love it when a plan comes together. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to be notified when I release future videos, please subscribe. And have an excellent day.